Hello everyone, I am Babel. Welcome to our new project. Today we will discuss about contour map and how to generate a contour map and how to cut and fill in a raster surface. For this we need to first open RGS, RGS desktop and we add a map uh, we add this map build couple here double then okay. for uh, generic contour uh, we need first a raster circuit for this uh, we use um, IDW method for generic raster surface uh, for this we go to the art toolbox uh, and um, our toolbox and 3d analysis tool and then raster information here uh, we select idw here are our input uh, features build couple to 4 then jet value will must jet and where we want to uh, save our um, data i name this in ID and save mm, output cell service uh, this is optional and um, power this is also optional and then we want to uh, interpolate our data within the boundary so uh, we go to the environment and and select raster analysis here we um, uh, uh, use a max option uh, that we use here build couple boundary uh, when we use this option just it interpolate uh, to the boundary and uh, not uh, the other side of the map so then okay and finally okay uh, it is working and we finally found out our mm, raster surface <sighs> then we want to uh, uh, generate a contour map for this we again go to the R toolbox option and the raster surface uh, in the 3d analysis tools and raster surface and uh, here select contour and uh, input raster this one and where we want to save our file uh, say I name it contour id develop and this here a mm, sign area uh, our name is overlap so it we need it to change so it will look um, counter interval uh, counter interval uh, means uh, the counter line uh, distance between two counter line distance uh, uh, say it counter interval uh, say it is um, I think 1 and base counter where uh, uh, my counter line will be begin uh, that is called big counter uh, base counter so our base counter will be 1 then jet factor uh, is uh, input scale and what is the environment option and also we uh, say um, want to uh, counter our uh, within the boundary so we uh, select here and and mount. And then okay and then okay here we find our desired uh, counter map here we have found our uh, desired counter map and then 
uh, if you want to uh, see the value of our counter then go to um, the counter rgw and right click button and then uh, use the level features and we can see our the value of our counter maps so uh, by this way we can generate a uh, counter map then when we, we want to uh, mm, mm, uh, how to then we will want to know how to cut and fill in a raster surface uh, for this at first we uh, mm, need a raster surface that we want to cut and fill and, uh, and another surface uh, where mm, uh, we uh, another surface where we where we put our desired elevation so uh, I think this is our raster surface uh, and this raster surface we want to cut and fill uh, and so another raster surface we needed here for this we go to um, our toolbox and then in a special analysis tool and uh, a special analysis tool and reclass then reclassify here uh, input raster surface uh, mm, uh, this one and we do uh, classify our raster surface we uh, want a raster surface uh, one value one class then okay and um, we want to put the value here we can see our value is minus 0 0.402078 Mm -hmm. uh, and maximum value 3.13693 so we want to put here uh, if uh, we want to generate a surface that elevation would be one point one point five meter mm, then uh, click and uh, this reclassified will be also uh, have it on our boundary yeah, inside the boundary so we uh, use this marks now then okay it is working and we have found uh, our a raster surface that has one class and here uh, and here everywhere the pixel value is the same uh, we can uh, uh, using it ridiculous field one pixel value one object um, is everywhere the pixel value is same so this is our uh, this is raster space and now we want to cut and um, fill uh, so go to the act toolbox option and um, um, go to the card and fill as uh, a card and fill um, raster surface uh, raster surface uh, input before raster surface before raster surface that is our uh, build idw and after raster surface that we generate class one um, uh, where we want to save our um, service um, we just we just name a desired surface and uh, there is some wrong just name it then ok let's wait for it now now click ok here is our desired map we can see here need gain that means we need to fill here and need loss uh, we need to cut here 
and uh, some other values is unchanged. Uh, another option we can um, calculate here how much uh, we cut uh, we need to cut and how much we need to fill uh, that we calculate area and volume option for this we uh, go to customize and customize mode then command and here we search uh, area and volume calculation area and volume I have already generated here so I need not to do this again now area and volume option and um, uh, input surface input surface uh, that means um, this surface cut and fill this surface and our base uh, height of the plane uh, I put it here 1.5 um, then calculate the statistics uh, to the surface area we have to and volume and this one so we can calculate uh, statistics above plane and this surface area and volume uh, on this and by this way we can uh, cut and fill um, our raster surface so thank you everybody and thank you what